questions to ask throughout a campaign with the confidence rising. I told JC, Nate, and Rich that good times are coming, no need for deep diving. Van Cam's reactions, watch alongs to the pride of London thriving. The Eagles of South stay flying. Keep your eyes on us, we ain't hiding. Yes, guys, welcome back to episode four of Done Deals. I'm very sorry that this has been a little bit of a long time waiting because normally we try and get these done deals out very fast, but unfortunately, I was busy, rich, and stuff for holding it down with the transfer weeklies. But I'm back, not on holiday anymore. Eagle eyed peeling is here and is here to stay. Um, nothing more to say let's get straight into this one so yes chris richards has finally been announced by crystal palace who is our fourth incoming this transfer window chris richards is valued to be about 10 million pounds plus an extra 10 million pounds in add-ons so chris richards is primarily a center back however he can play all along the back line as in left back center back and right back i feel like with the extra 10 million in the release clause not in the release clause in the add-ons it's only because of his very poor injury record that he's had lately so it's got to be appearance based that this 10 million pounds extra will have to be paid towards Bayern munich it's pretty mad that crystal palace and Bayern munich are in the same sentence unironically as well but you know <laughs> It is what it is, but I think it's very smart business because as we've seen with Nathan Ferguson who is pre who is another another defender which we bought and is very injury prone and we don't want to be burnt again by making the same mistake twice. With Chris Richards only starting 13 games out of the 20 games he appeared in in the whole season last year when he was at Lona Hoffenheim, that shows why I think that we've put in this injury clause I guess you could say so we don't get burnt again smart smart business he can play it all across the back line very versatile looks like he can slot in anywhere we want him to but there are two reasons why I believe that we have bought him um, I'll list them for you number one Patrick Vieira wants to try and employ this free at the back formation a little bit more than last season so we've got Chris Richards, we've got Mark Gay, we've got Joachim Anderson, we've got Tom Kinder's backup, and if Jake O'Brien does not go out on loan, but I hope he does because he smashed it at Swindon last year, then we've got two, I would say they're two pretty worthy backups to those centre backs. But, you know, that three at the back formation does leave us compromises elsewhere on the pitch, but it's Vieira's decision and I fully back Vieira. The second option is that Chris Richards will slot in straight at right back in the first team. I think that this is the this is what will happen because I think it benefits us the best as Chris Richards actually plays right back for the USA national team. Um, he's actually a very good right back at, in, as, at national team level because very progressive with the ball when he's playing at full back, very comfortable on the ball, composed, can pass well and he's got good pace about him actually. Not afraid to overlap even though he's a centre-back and also he's got the defensive abilities of a centre-back so I think it's a very good fit for us actually. Sort of brings everything we need all together in one player and also remember he is a centre-back, he is six foot something. Without Cheku Kiate in the middle of the park we're going to struggle with set pieces and guess what? He's basically another centre-back so we've got, got another big guy in the box which is always going to help when it comes to the more physical games that we're going to play next year. I think when it comes to this, I'm seeing certain people saying he's a backup. He's a backup, he's going to be on the bench. I highly doubt that we will potentially pay £20 million for a backup. I know that we've got this amazing transfer policy, but I don't think we're paying this much money for someone. We're paying the same... If, if all the add-ons are taken into account, we're paying the same amount as Mark very close to the same amount as Anderson for a backup. I don't see that happening at all. I think he's going to slot straight into the right back position and then we'll see what happens next season. Let's see what happens. And yes, guys, that's it for Done Deals episode four. We're looking at another Done Deals coming very soon. It's looking like another U another centre-back's coming in, but most likely a youth team centre-back player coming in. 
But going back to Chris Richard, I'm rating this at 8 out of 10 signing for Crystal Palace. Very solid, very versatile. Good price, but we'll see what happens if we have to pay the add-ons as well. Um, I'm back, as I said, I'm back for Transfer Weeklies and this is your boy JC, Eagle Eye Peeling. Like, comment and subscribe. Tell me what your ratings are for Chris Richards and I'm out. Peace.